Hello guys, welcome to my channel. This video is a new addition to the analysis series. Let's get started. On 15th of November 2018, second day of second test match between Sri Lanka and England, a strange incident happened. Let's watch the footage. Looks like a normal short run case, isn't it? Well, that's not the case. Let's see what umpire's decision was. If you did not understand what he signaled, he initially disallowed all the runs scored by the batsman on that delivery. Further, he informed the batsman about deliberate short running and awarded 5 penalty runs to the fielding side. Now, let's see what the cricket law has to say about running short. There are two categories in this, unintentional and deliberate. Let's take a look at unintentional short running first. If a batsman runs short, then the umpire shall call and signal short run as soon as the ball becomes dead and that run shall not be scored. For example, if they run two and if they run one short, then only one run will be scored. Now let's take a look at deliberate short run. Cricket law states that if either umpire considers that one or both the batsmen deliberately ran short, then wait for the ball to become dead and further disallow all the runs scored on that delivery, return the batsmen to their original end and award 5 penalty runs to the fielding side. Now, let's see why the umpire considered this incident as deliberate short running. As you can see, both the batsmen start running and then striker Roshan Silva feels that the ball will reach the boundary. But upon seeing Moin Ali has stopped the ball, he runs back to the striker's end. But in between, the striker Roshan Silva did not ground the bat at all which made the umpire to consider this as deliberate short run. If he had at least tried to ground the bat, then most likely that the umpire would not have considered this as a deliberate short run. Fire and penalty for this feels a bit harsh, isn't it? Now let's see why exactly this law exists. In an IPL match between Mumbai Indians and Kings Eleven, while chasing 231, Mumbai Indians needed 16 runs of the last over. Kyren Pollard, who faces the first ball of the over, strikes the ball and sets off for the run thinking that he can come back for two. But upon realizing that he cannot make it, he runs back to the striker's end without completing the first run. And it can be seen that he did that deliberately as he wanted to get back the strike. It is clearly unfair as he got one run and also he came back to the strike. To prevent the players from doing such things, this law exists. But in Roshan Silva's case, he was not trying to gain any unfair advantage. But since he did not make any effort to complete the first run, it was ruled deliberate short run. Still have any doubts with this? Do let me know in the comment section. If you like the video, then hit the like button and share with all your friends. If you have not subscribed yet, then don't forget to subscribe for more such contents.